Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The network diagram view displays the tasks within the project in a flowchart style. You can switch to this view by clicking the Network Diagram button in the Task Views button group on the View tab in the ribbon. Within this view, each task is represented by a box and information about the task appears on the lines in the shape. Critical tasks appear red and non-critical tasks appear blue. Tasks that are linked together appear with a connector line between them. You will also see the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. You can use the buttons within this tab to change visual aspects of this view. You can click a shape to select a task. You can click into a line within the task shape to edit its contents if desired. You can also double click a shape to open the task information dialog box where you can edit the task data and then click the OK button to save it. For most project files, you will see dashed lines that represent where page breaks will appear in the view if printed. You can click and drag in the empty space in the view to create a new unlinked task shape. You will then need to enter the details of the task. You can also create a new linked task by clicking and dragging from an existing task shape to create a new linked task whose details you can then enter. As you complete the tasks in your project file, you can see a single strike line appear on tasks when work has commenced. A double strike line appears over task shapes when the task is completed. You can click the Collapse Boxes button in the Display button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to collapse the display of the task shapes down to a single line that displays their outline number. You can click it again to display the task details again. To change the appearance of a selected box within this view, select a box to format and then click the Box button in the Format button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Format Box dialog box. Here you can select a different data template to use from the Data Template drop-down if desired. Changing this value changes the data shown in the details of the selected box. You can use the Shape, Color, and width drop-downs in the border section to set the shape, color, and width of the border. You can check or uncheck the Show Horizontal Grid Lines and Show Vertical Grid Lines checkboxes in this section to show or hide the display of those lines in the details of the selected box. In the Background section, you can use the Color and Pattern drop-downs to set the background color and pattern of the selected box. When finished making editing changes, Click the OK button to apply them to the selected box. You can also change the appearance of a type of box, like all critical task boxes, for example. To do this, click the Box Styles button in the Format button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Box Styles dialog box. Select a box style to edit in the Style Settings 4 list. To display actual data from a box, Enter the ID number of the box into the Show Data from Task ID Spinner box. Then use the same buttons found within the Data Template, Border, and Background sections below to change the box style, just like when changing a box in the Format Box dialog box mentioned earlier. When finished, click the OK button to change the general style of the selected box type. You can also change the highlighted appearance of a style of boxes within the Box Styles dialog box by first checking the Set Highlight Filter Style checkbox and then making the changes you want and then clicking the OK button. This sets the appearance of tasks highlighted when using the Highlight drop-down that appears in the Data button group on the View tab of the ribbon to highlight tasks of that selected type in this view. You can click the Layout button in the Format button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Layout dialog box. This dialog box lets you change the layout of this view. You can select how to place the boxes in the view by selecting a choice in the Layout Mode section. You can either place the boxes automatically or manually by selecting the desired option button. If you select the Allow Manual Box Positioning option, you can click and drag the boxes in the view to manually arrange their positions. 
If you selected the Automatically Position All Boxes option, you can use the drop-down menus in the Box Layout section to decide how to automatically arrange the boxes. You use the Arrangement drop-down to select the general arrangement of boxes. For the Row and Column choices, use the Alignment, Spacing, Height, and or Width settings to enter the desired alignment, spacing, row height, and or column width for the selected boxes. Then check or uncheck the checkboxes to apply or remove the following features in the view. Show summary tasks, keep tasks with their summaries, and adjust for page breaks. The link style section lets you determine the appearance of links between tasks in the view. You can select rectilinear to show the default rectangular line style or select straight to show straight connectors between tasks. You can check the show arrows checkbox to display arrows on the connectors or uncheck it to remove the arrows. You can check the Show Link Labels checkbox to display labels on the connector lines that show the type of connection shared by the two tasks, or uncheck the checkbox to remove the labels. The Link Color section lets you set the color of the link lines between linked tasks. You can manually set the link color by choosing colors from the drop-downs for non-critical tasks and critical tasks or you can choose the Match Predecessor Box Color Option button to make the line match the color of its predecessor task box. The Diagram Options section lets you set the general appearance of the view. You can use the Background Color and Background Pattern drop-downs to select a color and pattern to use for the background of the diagram. You can then check or uncheck the checkboxes to apply or remove the following general display options. Show Page Breaks, Hide all fields except ID, and mark in progress and completed. When finished using the layout dialog box, click the OK button to apply the changes to the view. Next, in the Show Hide button group, on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon, you can check or uncheck the boxes to apply or remove those features from the view. This replicates the functions found in the layout dialog box, but in a way that is easier to access for quick changes to the view. You can show or hide the link labels, straight links, progress marks, summary tasks, and project summary task by using the checkboxes in this button group. If you chose to manually arrange the boxes in this view, then you can use the buttons that appear in the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to help you place the boxes on screen. This button group will not work if you have automatic box layout applied to your view. If you chose manual box positioning, you can click the Layout Now drop-down button to choose to automatically lay out selected boxes. This will apply an automatic layout to selected boxes according to the settings in the Layout dialog box. You can click the Layout Now choice to automatically lay out all boxes on screen. You can click the Layout Related Tasks Now choice to automatically lay out related tasks from the selected task. You can click the Layout Selection Now choice to only automatically arrange selected tasks. If manually arranging tasks, you can select multiple tasks at the same time by clicking each task while holding down the Control key on your keyboard. You can select all related tasks or tasks in phases by holding down the Shift key on your keyboard and then clicking the predecessor task or phase. You can click the Align drop-down button in the Layout button group on the Format tab of the Network Diagram Tools contextual tab within the ribbon to choose a method of aligning selected tasks from the drop-down menu that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.